In this video I'm going to talk about the uh, static content or uh, better or newly called hero scenes. I will talk about all of them and uh, explain what uh, each look like and what they uh, display. Now if you're wondering why st the name static content or why the uh, the hero scenes well hero scenes are uh, trendy uh, name used in modern uh, web design while static content was the name uh, added uh, for these types of uh, elements back in the previous uh, versions so um, basically this these elements are neither uh, sliders they're neither uh, subheaders they're not uh, sections they're just blocks of different content with uh, uh, nice uh, nice options and nice uh, layouts so moving on in this uh, video I'm going to talk about the static content event countdown element so to preview this element simply go to hero scenes event countdown countdown as you can see it's a nice element with a background a video on to the right uh, text uh, title and a nice uh, countdown which um, uh, presumes that you will launch something or you have an event or something like this and you want your uh, your visitors to subscribe and or to stay connected with you so it's a nice element which serves uh, a good purpose an intended purpose of a, of a launch or a specific event now going to the page builder to edit the element I'm going to hide the uh, header because I cannot always reach the option bar at the top so I'm just going to hide the header using this button and access the options of the element so first uh, we have the element height now uh, by default uh, currently is left as default uh, I think 600 pixels is uh, default I will just add 700 pixels and save the element as you can see it's a bit bigger and we can also specify a full screen uh, layout which will actually override the as you can see it actually disabled the height uh, option so this will make a full height of the element on vertical because the element is already full width so full screen in this element means actually full height so moving forward uh, we have the scrolling effect in this element by default is no but you can enable it and you can choose a parallax scrolling effect type and now by translate fade and scale it will mean this uh, the whole content will uh, move on move um, vertically will fade fade away and scale now I'm just going to save this element and as you can see now it does not uh, has this enabled but I will publish and open the page into view page mode and when you as you can see actually yeah the sorry about that uh, the effect is uh, is just added to the background not onto the actual content the content only has a, a fade effect as you can see so uh, back to the options sorry this one has to be closed yeah going back to the options uh, we have this uh, scrolling effect which is cool and then moving on to the actual content uh, you can um, you can provide here a uh, text you can have um, as you can see here I've uh, used a few uh, font weight uh, 
preset classes which uh, actually makes the text thinner and a font weight of semi bold for this exact part of the text for example a bit highlighted and um, all wrapped into spans because they're in line and they actually don't affect nothing uh, at all so you can add uh, any HTML you want here it's up to you and your imagination then we have a link for the video it, it will automatically uh, create an embed uh, iframe here with the source of the link you provide you can also specify a YouTube uh, video so it's uh, it's up to you now the video description this text right here it's a, a sneak peek of the video or launch or whatever and moving on we have the countdown settings now the launch date is uh, a scheduled into the future in 2017 uh, at the hour um, 22 which is uh, 10 10 p.m. in the evening so it will automatically calculate the days until uh, the launch and um, nothing will happen afterwards it will just remain zero 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 and just the countdown will uh, be displayed so moving on we have uh, as you can see as you seen already into let me just open the the um, Kalias demo because I already have it set up there uh, event countdown as you can see here we have a newsletter uh, form but in order to enable it you have to have uh, some lists created in case you don't know just go to uh, the Kalias options in the back end and general options and you have the MailChimp options there's an, uh, an um, a video of uh, this uh, of setting up MailChimp um, apart from this video so you can look at it and uh, try to follow the steps or the actual documentation of course so like I said after you set up the MailChimp uh, app key you will have access to the forms you created on your MailChimp uh, account and you can just select one and that should be it um, you, and now whether you want normal or colored social icons basically this is a style changer for the social uh, icons so I'm just going to leave them clean but you can or just I will say colored on hover uh, uh, icons and then later you can later sorry <laughs> in the latest ta tab you can uh, add the actual social icons perhaps you want more and you want them custom so you can add here as many as you want um, you can delete them you can move them around sort them you can clone to edit uh, to be faster and you can edit them so we have a, a Twitter uh, icon, uh, social link, where the where do you want the icon to uh, link you to? Of course, most likely on your Twitter page. The uh, social icon background color, perhaps you if you have colored or colored on hover uh, options, you will probably want to uh, have it colored. I think this is close to Twitter's uh, blue color so you can select here the icon you want there's an entire section of uh, social icons and Twitter here is selected but you can choose anything you want of course in this example Twitter is selected so saving this one and I'm going to save the element as you can see the styles of them have uh, changed 
only this one here because I set um, custom color it will show up this blue and that's about it with this element uh, to add it to the canvas just search for static content and event countdown so just drag this element here and you have access to all these elements uh, options like I explained uh, before so uh, that's about it if you do have questions feel free to ask and if you have troubles with the element um, subscribe, to, subscribe to our support forum and my colleagues there will uh, assist you so thanks for watching and see you in the next one